Chile is one of the most vulnerable countries to climate change in the world. Proof of this is the recent flooding, droughts, and forest fires that are becoming more frequent every day. We know that not facing the consequences of climate change will have an impact on the country's most vulnerable population, on our ecosystems, and also our economy. Everything that has happened in this last year is just a taste of what could happen if we don't act now. It is clear that the different activities that we carry out daily are to blame for the climate change and that its consequences continue to grow. That is why Chile, together with 194 other UN member nations, are meeting this year, 2015, in Paris at the COP21 to face the main challenge for humanity in all of its history together, climate change. Each country has presented its intended nationally determined contributions to undertake binding emission reduction goals. In September this year, President Bachelet announced that Chile is committed to reducing its greenhouse gas emissions intensity by 30% by 2030 through its own means and by 45% subject to international funding, so that globally the temperature does not increase by more than 2 degrees Celsius. We will do so by decarbonizing our economy, promoting green growth through clean and renewable energy. This is, without doubt, an ambitious environmental commitment and appropriate for our country's development. To achieve our goal of reducing emissions, the principal measures are encourage NCRE, non-conventional renewable energies, as required by the energy policy, the energy efficiency law, the introduction of 14 new air pollution attainment plans throughout Chile by 2018, the generation of green taxes on polluting emissions from power generation and automobiles, and a forestation of 100,000 hectares of native forests. But it's not just about mitigation. Adaptation is also necessary. And within the National Adaptation Plan to Climate Change, there is also the commitment to create nine sectoral plans in biodiversity, health, fishing, infrastructure, water resources, cities, agroforestry, energy, and tourism. In that way, facing the challenge in a decentralized way. Addressing climate change is not only the responsibility of governments, but also a commitment that all the citizens of the world must make. How we live, consume, heat, and transport ourselves impacts the environment. And therefore, the main environmental challenge for this generation must be a collective effort. With our commitment to the climate agreement, we are clearly setting the kind of development that we want for Chile. Green growth, low in carbon, that promotes clean and renewable technologies, and that finally enables our children to have a better life in the Chile of today and in the future. If I don't change, the climate changes.